morning, friends. Welcome back to On The Go. In the next few weeks, we are going to continue visiting some exciting and wonderful places God has made. On each adventure, we are going to continue to learn more about who God is. In the first week of this series, we visited Brazil and saw that God is our Lord. For those of you who were traveling with us last week, we went to New Zealand and saw how God is our shepherd. We are so excited to visit another country this week. Anyone want to take a guess where we're headed? Let's take a look at these hints. Welcome to Egypt! Has anyone ever been to Egypt before? In Egypt today, we are going to learn how God is our healer, as well as look together for a unique souvenir to take back home. Before we do, let's say hello to Juan Durand and see what he has to say. Marabon, my mummies! That's how the Egyptians say hello in their native language, Arabic. Well, I may have added the mummies part, but you get the point. I'm Wander Round, and at your request, I'm here to confirm you are, in fact, on the continent of Africa in the country of Egypt. Welcome to the land of the Desert Pyramids, GeoQuesters. You may be wondering why you've wandered all the way over to the land of sand and Nile crocodiles. Well, why don't we ask our mummy friends? Hmm, I guess they're keeping things under wraps. In the meantime, you could get to work on building a pyramid. After all, it took 20,000 workers 23 years to build one. So for us, just doing the math, carry the one times five, divide that by 26 for some reason, and um, well, we'll leave that to the professionals. Phew, woo! You may notice it gets a little hot out here in the desert, and if you're holding out hope for some rainfall, keep on dreaming. Egypt only gets about one inch of rain per year. Yeah. You heard that right, 365 days and only one inch? That's like half a pinky's worth of rain. Temperatures can be a scorcher, getting up to 114 degrees in the hottest part of the summer. So even if that rainfall did come, I'm guessing it would just dry right up. Egypt isn't a completely dry land though. There is a river that runs through it called the Nile. And while that houses crocodiles, Egypt is also home to a variety of other animals like jackals, gazelles, and cobras. <sighs> Ugh, no thank you. How about something a little cuter? Did you know that here in Egypt, cats are considered to be a sacred animal? Take that, cobras! Mm. Enough meowing around. 
I bet you're ready to find out what souvenir you're looking for today. It's a good one too. I've loaded the coordinates into GeoCube. You'll find your souvenir at 30 degrees to 39 degrees north interstate highway. Well, if that's not enough, you know I've got you covered. Wander around doesn't make you wander around. Here's a few hints to get you going. Don't judge it by the outside or you'll miss half of the prize. It's the color of the sands and back in the beginning, you'll find it deep within the tombs. Best of luck to you. Come back once you found the souvenir. Does anyone know or have a guess what the Egyptian souvenir is? Let's see. Whew. I was starting to think you got swept away in the sands of time. Maybe stuck in a sand trap. Or worse, eaten up by some quicksand. Whoa! Whew. But no, you didn't get wrapped up in anything like that. Get it? Wrapped? Like the mummy you found? <laughs> Anyways, the whole mummy thing is super interesting. When someone died, ancient Egyptians would cover the body in a powder, wrap it up in layers of linen, and then place the body down into a coffin. Those Egyptians were trying to care for those who died. But do you know who cares for us the most? And can even heal us when we aren't feeling too hot? God! That's right, God is the ultimate healer and still heals people today. In the Bible, there was a king named Hezekiah. King Hezekiah was a pretty young guy when he first took over and ended up being one of the greatest kings of all time. Yeah, I said it. He was a goat, like the king goat. Old Hezi remained faithful to God, and because of this, he was successful in everything he did. When King Hezekiah was around 39 years old, he became very sick. And we're not talking like the case of the sniffles. No way. He was so sick that God sent him a message through a prophet named Isaiah. The message told Hezekiah to go ahead and get things in order, that he wasn't going to get better and soon he would die. So you can imagine this was pretty tough news to hear. The king wasn't ready to wrap things up quite yet. So he prayed to God and asked him to remember how faithful he had always been and how he always served God with his whole heart. Right after Hezekiah finished praying, God gave Isaiah another message for the king. This next message was quite the game changer. The message told Hezekiah that God had heard his prayers and, um, drum roll please, decided to heal him. That's right, God told Hezekiah that in three days, the king would go to the temple and then God would add 15 more years to his life. King Hezekiah was a little bit of a skeptic though and was like, prove it. He asked Isaiah for a sign, you know, so that God would prove he'd actually do it. And without missing a beat, Isaiah offered the king two options. Do you want the sun shadow to move forward 10 steps or back 10 steps? Hezekiah knew it was pretty easy for the shadow to move forward 10 steps, so he picked the other option. Well, challenge accepted. God made the shadow go back 10 steps and the king knew he would be healed. Hezekiah decided to go to the temple after three days and ended up living for 15 more years. 15! That's because God kept his promise and healed Hezekiah. God has many names, and one of those names is healer, because, well, God's a healer. You see, God really cares about us. He really wants us to be healthy physically, like with our bodies, emotionally, with our feelings, mentally, with our thoughts, and spiritually, in our relationship with him. That mummy you found is a great reminder that God can heal any sickness we have. He may not always heal in the way that we would choose, but we can be sure that God is our healer. The best of the quest isn't over yet. We've got lots of ground to cover, and I can't wait to see you next time. Wow, what an adventure we had today in Egypt. I can't wait to see what country we visit next week. But before we tune off, let's practice our series memory verse together. Say this after me. Those who know your name, trust in you. For you, O oh Lord, do not abandon. Those who search for you, 
Psalm 910. Great job, friends. Keep practicing and let us know if you have it memorized. See you soon, GeoQuesters.